Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so actually I'm back with uh, some new ColourPop and some very, uh, yeah, pastel ColourPop. So that I go ahead and get started. And um, I did pick up some new stuff. So what I usually use is 30 Fair as far as foundation from ColourPop and this is the Pretty Fresh. And then I got some colors to go ahead and mix with it. I think this one is like 33 cool. And then I got, let's see, 53 uh, neutral. Or, no, it's warm. So um, I went ahead and picked up a couple more colors so that I can mix my own shades. And uh, the Fair 30 was just getting too light. And... Um, I'm already starting to get some sun, so that's what I went ahead and did. And uh, started out actually today with the e.l.f. Uh, Halo Glow. This is in Fair One, so that's what I have on for primer. And then I did go ahead and mix the Fair 30 with the uh, Warm 53. And so that's what I have on as far as foundation today. And liking that combination actually a lot. As far as what I did for uh, the bronzer, I went ahead and got out the Tan Light 03 by Glowish. This is their um, their bronzer, and actually it's a nice peachy bronzer without going orange, and liking it a lot. The Glowish line, if you like glowy products, definitely the Glowish line by Huda is a good one. And I know that they just put out some concealers. I haven't tried those yet, though. And then going back to ColourPop, because you always end up back at ColourPop. Once you start with ColourPop, you end at ColourPop. So I went ahead and picked up the Papaya Blush. This is what it looks like. And it's a very pretty orange summery color. Again, pastel leaning kind of thing. And uh, as far as going ahead and doing a swatch here, that's kind of yeah what it looks like here so that's the swatch these are actually on sale over at Ulta they have um, first off they got all the ColourPop blushes which I didn't think they would get plus highlighters plus bronzers and they have a buy one get one 50% off on all of ColourPop and so that's why I was picking up these so that I can you know go ahead and play more and so I have a papaya on here and then I did go ahead and add some of the chiffon in and chiffon is a super shock uh, cheek and it is very very glowy I think I'll add a little bit more because with color pop and the glow you know you really can't have too much at least not in my book so uh, this is chiffon and it does have um, sort of a flip. It flips from orange to pink. And so again, pastels and pastels, pastels, pastels right now. As far as um, moving on to eyes, I did the usual suspects there. I used ColourPop Pretty Fresh, my favorite uh, concealer. And then the next uh, Thicket Stick It and Light Ash Brown and the next uh, Brow Glue as well. So that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and pick up a whole bunch of new ColourPop palettes, but I thought I'd show you some of the ones. These are the ones that you can get on the ColourPop website or over at Target. And yeah, we're having a pastel uh, spring here. So peach out, and it is the time for pastels. It really is. So that's that one. And then truly iconic. Yeah, it has a whole bunch of pastels in there, and it's it's a cool toned pastel one. Uh, Vibe Check, which is just a really pretty palette that um, is just easy to put on, and again, it has the pastels in there. Uh, Super Bloom, again, we're talking pastels here, and uh, yeah, ColourPop went there with their new releases to Target. And yep, yeah, so we're having pastels everywhere. And um, it's the right time of year for it, but there are an awful lot of them right now. 
I also have the Forever Floral, again, in that uh, peachy pink kind of family. And so, yeah, again, pastels. And what I picked up from ColourPop, Heavy Petal, uh, this is one of their palettes that I picked up over at Ulta during the buy one, get one 50% off. And really pretty packaging. Um, again, it goes pastel. Um, and this one has the oranges and the golds uh, that, well, uh, some duo, duo, duo chromes, yeah. Uh, these two are gonna be uh, duochromes. This orange is a duochrome. And so, yeah, it's all in that same pastel family. So as far as what I have on today, I went ahead and started with this color as my base. I did this color on the lid, did this under um, as far as eyeliner, and then to go ahead and deepen the outer corner. And so I think, oh, and this one on the inner corner. This is how it turned out here. So that's how the look turned out, and really pretty. Um, again, pastels, but mixing in some really pretty light colors and dark colors. Pastels tend to be medium toned, and so um, yeah, these are uh, some of the, this color is just gorgeous. It's a really deep plum, and um, this color, again, is a peach, a nude peach that just goes on beautifully. So, I mean, there are always parts of um, the palettes that are just amazing. That's why everybody goes back to ColourPop. And um, let's see, what else do I have on here? Oh, I went ahead and did the Long Lash Lengthening by We Love Revolution. This is over at Walmart. This whole line is the $5 and underline. And then the rest of is ColourPop. And this one is in Girl Please. It's one of their glowing lips that I always just think of as really, really pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of the So Glassy. This is the Epiphany shade on top of that. And yeah, just really pretty colors. Pastel, so very feminine colors. And um, they do have some deeper options. The Plum palette and the Mauve palette are definitely going to be deeper. The Blue palette, Blue palette, I forgot what it's called, um, but that one's definitely going to be um, on the darker side as well. So uh, it's out there, but I think probably for most of us, um, especially with these newer palettes, we're probably going to gravitate this way. And um, they do this style of palette, um, the peaches, pinks, and the corals really, really well. They just do. And they have a lot of palettes where they do that really well. So, um, yeah, thumbs up for all of the palettes over at, uh, well, all of these I picked up over at the um, <clears throat> Target. So this is the new Target release. and So I am really liking all of those. Um, don't mind pastels. As you can see, I'm wearing a lot of them right now. And... Um, as far as the formula, I think that it's as good, if not better, than a lot of um, their previous ones. So I don't think there's really a difference in that. I think just it's a concentrated, you know, it's a concentrated storyline kind of thing. Uh, purple pastels, green based on um, gray pastels, uh, the pinky pinky peach ones. So uh, they just sort of went for it as far as expanding their whole range. And I think there's something for everybody. So it's a really pretty, pretty release. And I'm really glad that I got to try that. So um, let's see what else here. Did the Physicians Formula as far as going ahead and doing the finishing powder. 
this is a better glow in translucent. Uh, they also have a better glow that's in um, this one, which is natural glow. And it will give you a rosy, a pink to a rosy finishing powder. Uh, sometimes I'll just go ahead and use this right on the cheeks as far as um, just making a, a pink blush or a rose blush just a little bit deeper, a little bit more intense. And I think that's just about all of my very drugstore look. I think it turned out really well. I mean, the glow is in the drugstore, but the other nice thing about these is that you can purchase the smaller size, the mini size, and so you don't have to get a huge, big palette. You can try out, um, or a huge, big pan. You can go ahead and try them out. And so, um, and the packaging on glow is just so cute. But anyway, um, good haul. Really, I mean, it's taken me a couple of months to get to the point where I can say, yes, I've tried most of it. And um, as you know, usual with ColourPop, it just works out really well. Uh, oh, one more ColourPop. And this is Seismic. It's one of my favorite highlighters. And so this is, yeah, this is one that I went ahead and used today. It does have some actual sparkles in it. Not a lot. It isn't glitter all over your cheeks, but yeah, it does that. Uh, the chiffon, I would definitely suggest this is usually on their website. And this just is beautiful as a highlighter um, or on a day where you're doing light makeup as a natural blush. It is listed as a natural um super shock uh, cheek blush so um, but it's really light and it does have a flip to it so it's uh, fun for light days or to go ahead and use as a highlighter or a blush topper and I think that's just about everything so that's a video I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later